Okay guys, I have just completed my first um, remote starter prototype for the, uh, the Furman T07571. Um, I have incorporated this uh, generator controller over here to my Furman tri-fuel generator. Uh, what this is going to do is this will auto start my generator for me under certain conditions. So right now I have it set up to auto start upon power failure. So if the power goes out, this generator will turn on and start running automatically. Um, it will also turn on using this uh, remote control over here. So I press the, uh, the on button to turn it, oh, hold on, the A, which would be on and B would be off in this case, but there could be different combinations. Uh, I will be demonstrating that as well. And it will also turn on using a schedule start. So let's say I want my generator to turn on um, once a day at a certain time or once a month or once a week or several times a day. Um, I can have all that happen from getting this generator incorporated with the Furman generator. Also, you're probably thinking, well, what about the choke? And I took care of that. I have an automated choke system over here using a, uh, an actuator. It will automatically turn the, um, the choke to the start position and then back to the run position once it has detected the generator has started. Now all this without me being anywhere near it. I can start this thing from uh, a mile away. There's actually a way that I can start it uh, over the internet. So let's say you have a, a cabin uh, somewhere and you want to start your generator to heat up the place, whatever it is before you get you get there you can definitely do that with a generator controller like this one at some point I will pl probably um, set up a plug-and-play kit for the, uh, the Furman since I've done all the uh, the legwork uh, by the way guys I am a licensed uh, electrician with a lot of experience uh, in industrial controls and other so uh, alright here we go I'll show you a quick demo Actually, I just realized to connect the starter wire, I disconnected it temporarily. Let me see if I can reach this just back here. Sorry guys, give me a second. Just have to connect the ground. Okay. Okay. That should be good. This is all temporary connections as you can tell. Once everything is finalized and all my testing is finalized, at that point I'll make everything all really nice and incorporate this into a, uh, a panel box. Uh, these components here are just for testing purposes and I'll be using other components at that point. Uh, as you can tell, this is a very basic setup, but it's just for testing purposes. Also, um, the generator controller will be able to turn off the generator. I cannot do it at the moment. I was missing a component, but I can definitely do it. That's a hundred percent. Okay, so, so the first test we'll do over here is um, I'll be starting it using the remote, and uh, I will be. I can't. Like I said, I cannot stop it, but I'll show you that in a future video. So, as you can tell, my generator. Uh, right now the the choke is on run one so i'm going to press the start button on here the choke will go to start it'll start the generator and go back to the run position so i just have to set my uh, generator to automatic mode oh by the way this is what's on the screen so the first digit there looks like a um like, like a power cable um tower a pilot uh, power pylon uh, 120 volts right now this is connected to uh, to an extension cord I have set up here this is just temporarily just to, to tell the, the generator that the, uh, the building is currently using 
uh, currently has voltage coming to it. It's, I'm just set up to 120. Uh, this will be connected to 240 eventually once I'm finalized. 60 hertz, so that's what I'm getting. I'm getting 120 volts at 60 hertz right now from the utility. When the generator turns on, next to the second logo, that funny looking thing over there, uh, that's going to be the generator voltage, which is also connected to here temporarily. I'm just getting voltage out of the plug and that is being fed into the controller. Um, at that point we will see uh, a voltage reading appear right next to uh, that little generator symbol, the second symbol from the top. And also it will display the, uh, the hertz, the frequency. So let's give this thing a try. As you can tell, I will not press anything on the generator right now. Just pressing A over here. Okay, just give me a second. I probably shouldn't have, have connected this here. I need a proper ground. Let's connect it to the battery for now. So make sure my other wire is connected properly as well. That's good. Right there. I probably should have connected this before the video, but it is what it is. All right, try number two. Yeah, I'm not done configuring the remote. I have to hold the button for now, but that'll be fixed in a, in a different video. First demonstration, I'll just show you that this actually works properly. Just give me a second, guys, sorry. So, I'm in front of the generator, I'll press A, hold A. Okay, so that was the test with the remote. That's one way to turn it on. Another way to turn it on would be to disconnect the, uh, the power going to it. To tell it that, oh, the utility power has went down. So turn on. We will be doing that. I will disconnect this over here. And just want to make sure everything is good on the controller. That ball is good there. Okay, so as soon as I disconnect this, there should be a two second timer and it should turn on. Yeah. So I don't know if you guys caught that, it said mains of normal, delay, preheat. that now I will show you the scheduled start feature bear with me for a second I just have to program it for the, uh, the current time so now it is 18 14 it's military time 18 14 so I'll set it for 18 16 and this will start on its own at 18 16 that's not what I wanted to do Daily run, so set up for daily 18, oh, oh, 16, and to run for one minute. It, like I said, it will not turn off because uh, those that feature is not connected yet, but it will be in a future video. So that's a stop. I put it back in automatic mode. 
Okay, so just so we can see the time, it has to be an automatic mode for this feature to work. Um, set parameters, enter the default password. Okay, so in about 30 seconds, the generator is set to start, and it will start. Meanwhile, let's see, maybe I can show you guys a few things here. Uh, oh, and also, I forgot to mention, I could turn this on over here. No, it's about to start. turn this on if uh, let's say I have the generator outside and I don't want to go outside and press the uh, start button which will still work by the way you, you I can start this right now using the uh, the conventional controls if I'd like to you just have to do it manually over here this generator just like if it was not connected to the controller which is a pretty good feature also this uh, device over here will detect uh, low oil on the generator so you have a double safety when it comes to that low oil this will turn it off um, also yeah as I was saying earlier sorry if let's say you have this generator outside it's near a shed or something and you place the controller indoors uh, well, all you have to do is set it to manual mode, press start over here, and it will start. Okay, guys, so... That pretty much completes the first prototype. Um, the second part of this video, I will be uh, completing the install, which I probably should have done because it's really not a big deal to have the controller turn off the generator. And um, there's even a possibility that I can have it select the fuel, have this select the fuel, so you have there's, there will be no uh, human interaction with the generator for it to start. Um, a lot of things are possible. Oh, also, what I didn't mention is um, this controller over here can have your automatic transfer switch uh, switched for you. So you're completely, this com you don't have to touch anything. You can have this turn on and off a control switch. So that pretty much completes the, uh, the video. In the next video, I'll have everything set up and... Um, we can admire the controller fully working, turning on and off the generator. And um, that's it. If you guys enjoyed the video, if you like it, uh, subscribe. Much appreciated. Thanks, guys.